Hello. Just yesterday I finished John Green's An Abundance of Catherines. This is uh, not the first time I read it, it's the second time, but the first time I read it was actually before I was a nerd fighter or knew what nerd fighter was. It was actually probably pretty soon after the book came out. And I read it because it has math involved in it. Um, the book is about a guy named Colin Singleton who has dated 19 girls named Catherine and been dumped by all of them. And him and his friend go on a road trip to help him try and get over Catherine 19. And he um, thinks that he is going to be able to create a mathematical formula that will um, describe and predict romantic relationships, um, how long they'll last, and who will dump who. In the end, based on um, characteristics like popularity, whether um, the people in the relationship tend to be dumpers or dumpies, um, attractiveness, and different things, age maybe is one of them. Um, the point is, um, John Green consulted with resident mathematician Daniel Biss to come up with a real formula that will actually give you a graph. Um, of course, it doesn't actually predict your romantic relationship, guys. Um, I don't want to spoil alert anything, but um, I do want to read two quotes from near the end of the book that are my favorites, um, both by Colin, one out loud and one in his thoughts. And the moral of the story is that you don't remember what happened. What you remember becomes what happened. And then, even if it's a dumb story, telling it changes other people just the slightest little bit, just as living the story changes me. An infinitesimal change, and then that infinitesimal change ripples outward, ever smaller but everlasting. I will get forgotten, but the stories will last, and so we all matter. Maybe less than a lot, but always more than none. So, it was a really good book. I really enjoy it. And on to the next book I'm reading.